to new reports tonight that claim a Dearborn cleric is involved in the radicalization of one of the London stabbing attackers who killed seven people and injured 48 others this weekend. Investigators have identified those attackers as Kurum Shahzad Butt and Rashid Radan. Neighbors say they reported Butt to authorities at least twice when they say he tried to convert their children to radical Islam. Uh, Rod Maloney working the uh, newest angle to this case. He's in Dearborn tonight. And Rod, you're hearing YouTube videos may have played a role in this. Yes, uh, you know, Devin, uh, when these international headlines happen, oftentimes Michigan has a tie. And in this particular case, it's a tie with a local imam from Dearborn Heights, whom is on YouTube. You can find him easily on YouTube. But apparently, he has helped radicalize one of these terrorists. The importance of knowledge in Allah is great. This is a YouTube video of Dearborn-based Sheikh Ahmad Musa Jabril. He's renowned among anti-terror sources as a favorite imam of ISIS fighters, including one of the terrorists who carried out this past weekend's terror attack in London. One knows and worships Allah. Neighbors of the terrorists say they not only notice suspicious activities like attempts to radicalize children, they say they reported them to London police to no avail. They were talking to the kids about the religion, kind of like they were imposing themselves and giving them sweets. He used to listen to a lot of Musa Jibreel. I've heard some of this stuff and it's very radical. I'm surprised some of this stuff is still on YouTube and easily accessible. I phoned the anti-terrorist hotline. I spoke to the gentleman. I told him about our conversation and why I think he's been radicalized. I did my bit. I know a lot of people did, but the authorities didn't do their bit. I said to him, there is n not a God, like you want to say, in the Bible or in the Quran, says that it's right to go and, and kill people like that. And he said, yeah, in the name of Allah, we believe I'm even ready, if I have to even, to kill my own mother, even she comes against Allah. Now, all of this is coming out very late this afternoon in the, in the whole investigation of the situation. And as it stands right now, it's an allegation against this imam that he allegedly uh, has been radicalizing people. Uh, we have looked online. There have been some attempts, apparently, to get his YouTube videos pulled down, but YouTube hasn't uh, agreed to do that at this point. Uh, we did look him up. He's listed in Dearborn Heights, but there was no phone number for me to be able to call, but certainly we'll be looking to reach out to him in the days and weeks to come. Back to you. Rod, what else do we know about this imam? Well, one of the things that, that we found out is that he has spent some time in a Michigan prison. Uh, apparently, he and his father were alleged to have been involved in some kind of scheme where they were buying buildings and then getting them overvalued for insurance purposes. And he did some prison time on some sort of deed fraud type of claim. Uh, we're still trying to sort that out, but that's what we found out so far. And again, we'll be looking to reach out to him to see if he has anything to say about what the allegations are here. All right, we know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Rod.